In this segment, we will look at overhead variances from standards. Overhead, our indirect costs, are applied to products using a predetermined overhead rate. To calculate that predetermined overhead rate, we take the total estimated overhead costs and divide by some estimated activity. When we actually assign the overhead, we use that predetermined overhead rate, which is entirely based on estimates, and multiply by the actual activity. When we set overhead standards, those standards contain both fixed and variable components of overhead. So the overhead cost per unit declines with increases in activity levels. The fixed costs decline as the activity increases, but on a per unit basis, variable costs stay the same. So to calculate the total overhead variance, we're going to be taking the difference between the actual total overhead incurred and the standard total overhead applied. That variance is broken down by two types, the controllable variance and the volume variance. The controllable variance is the difference between the actual total overhead incurred and the budgeted total overhead. The volume variance is going to be the difference between budgeted fixed overhead and applied fixed overhead. So the controllable variance is the difference between actual total overhead incurred and budgeted total overhead. The controllable variance is named as such because it refers to activities that are usually under management control. So here, if actual total overhead incurred was $76.50, the amount applied overhead from the flexible budget was $7,500, resulting in a variance of $150. The controllable variance is considered unfavorable because the actual costs were greater than the budgeted amount for total overhead. The volume variance is the difference between budgeted fixed overhead and applied fixed overhead. Recall budgeted fixed overhead is the exact same regardless of the volume of production. The applied overhead is based on the standard rate allowed at the actual volume of production, which is really using the flexible budget. So here, if the budgeted fixed overhead at a predicted capacity of 4,000 units produced is $4,000. The amount of applied fixed overhead was the estimated predetermined overhead rate at the actual volume of 3,500 units. We result in a volume variance of $500. That volume variance occurred because the company operated at a different capacity from what was expected. The budgeted production was 4,000 units and $4,000 of fixed overhead. But based on its actual level of production, only 3,500 was applied. That volume variance of $500 is considered unfavorable because the company did not reach its predicted operating level. Analyzing these variances, to help management isolate the reasons for a controllable variance, an overhead variance report can be prepared. This report will reveal where specific costs were higher or lower than expected. For a volume variance, the main purpose is to identify what portion of the total overhead variance is caused by failing to meet the expected production level. 